hello there. This, this is a, I'm stoked for this, actually. I'm actually stoked. Me and my buddy Jake, the other night, we just sat down and just talked. We had a good conversation. We just put mics up. It was, I was, you can hear it. You'll hear it at the beginning. I was not in a good mood. I was not having a good day. But Jake, Jake, this dude, Jake is the coolest dude you're ever going to meet. He's talented. He's charismatic. I am beyond happy to have him as a friend. He, he's a great singer. He's just the coolest dude. You drop this man in any social situation and he's got the room wrapped around his finger. He's charismatic. He's, he is the coolest dude. He's just a good friend on top of all of that. It just, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm going to do more of these just because it was such a good conversation just to have, just to talk to people. I'm, I miss talking to people and it, this was fun. It was really fun. And Jake is the coolest and he deserves every bit of success that he'll ever get in life. He is the greatest. He's one of my best friends. And that's all this is, is just two best friends talking for a couple hours. So please enjoy. conversation because like this is like the reverse of an erection where you're just like I, I'm, I'm not you need to give me the blue pill of podcasting right now to be able to speak for the next hour and a half all right um i don't know i don't know wait if i asked you i know i talk about this show a lot but have you, have you watched smallville yes have you watched so, all of smallville i've watched the first two seasons who do you have you seen many live action Le- lex luthers uh, oh, no, as many as there's been, I guess. Yeah. I was about to say, how do you think different Lex Luthers you've seen have done in the character? Because I don't think that's that's a character that gets talked about, like their live action. The Richard Donner Superman probably has the best. I hate Batman v Superman with a certain level that yeah. I can't. Like I would, so Jesse I don't believe in the concept of yeah. like a horrific. Or no, there's definitely horrific movies, but I don't believe in the concept of a perfect movie. Yeah. But if there was the antithesis of that, which is to say a movie that's entirely bad, yeah. it would be Batman v Superman. <laughs> I actually despise that movie. See, I'm I'm not very critical of movies, so I, I can enjoy basically anything. And I know the problems that Batman v Superman had, but I can still watch it, you know? Yeah. I, I definitely don't think Jesse Eisenberg was any near the top level of Lex Luthor as you know. Yeah, I just didn't like anything about. If you're talking about specifically the like best Lex Luthor, it's an animated series. Okay, yes. So His... that Lex Luthor was basically Lex Luthor. Like when I hear that Lex Luthor's voice, I like that's, that's just who... what I think. Let me ask you this: If you read a Batman comic, whose voice is in your head? Is it Kevin Conroy's? Because yes. that's what it's mine. <laughs> yes. If 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 it's Mark Hamill as the Joker. Yeah. It's. It's the animated cast. Like, you know, I've told you how I like listening to, like, super cool monologues while working out. Yeah, yeah. The one I'm doing right now is from the Justice League Unlimited where Superman's fighting Darkseid. Yeah. And it's the, I I feel like I live in a world made of cardboard speech where he's just like. Yeah. It's like, I'm always scared I'm going to break something, break someone. Yeah. Uh, But you can take it. And so this is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose and show you how powerful I am. And then Superman throws the greatest punch in the history of anything ever. I have have two. I have a favorite cinema punch and a favorite cinema kick. My favorite kick is from The Raid 2. I've probably shown you it. And in it, he spins a dude around. It's in like the kitchen fight, which is like at the end of the movie. Yes, I have seen that. He spins the dude around, kicks him in the back of the knee, the chest, and then the face all like three times yeah. each in one fluid mo- motion. Yeah. It is the greatest kick in the history of kicks. The greatest punch in the history of punches, 
goes to Superman in that scene yeah. where he punches Darkseid. There's just this giant ripple effect. Like, <laughs> the property damage yeah. would justify... I, it makes me was like, this is what, you know, Batman, Superman, and Man of Steel were trying to say about Superman, but, yeah. like, it didn't work. But those, that punch, he punches him. He goes through, like, three buildings. <laughs> Superman flies back around the globe, stops in front of him, and backhands him to the cement. <laughs> it is the greatest punch ever. In the history of movies, in the history of punching, yeah. since human beings have like discovered that we can harm each other with our hands, yeah, and we and just before we discovered that like sharp things are more efficient, before we developed guns, when the cavemen didn't have clubs, they just and they just grabbed each other and started beating. In the history, since the day the first caveman developed the punch, yeah. To the to the modern day MMA fighting, <laughs> that, that super that one Superman scene is the greatest punch in history. Screw Saitama. That's what I was about to say. This the superhero who's famous for his punch can't even win. This. Can't beat that punch. That punch is two punch. It's the perfect punch. See, Superman could be one punch man if he wanted to. I mean, he to ninety nine percent of people he is. That's one thing. Like people always because Superman gets a lot of criticism. And I understand it, but then again, you have to think, don't think of it as he's too powerful. Think of it as he's too powerful for this world. Yeah, he's too powerful like, for... He has to control that, and he has to learn to be a good guy and mm -hmm. to help people and be this bright and hopeful character without just breaking people in half on a daily basis. That's why I... Dude, I, I, when I was cleaning out this space, and I was going through some old stuff, and I was like, I found my old toy chest yeah. and i was like i looked through there and i found my superman the animated series action figure yeah the bit because it's 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 just like a action figure but of superman so he's got the giant soul sh shoulders like yeah a huge s on his chest yeah and i i found that and i was like tiny waist. i can't get rid of this thing it oh, is no. the, it is it is so good i have an iron man one that came out out around the same time the movie came out. Yeah. And I was like, I, these two are just too good. Wait, is it the one where you can take off Iron Man's mask and it's like No. Okay, I had I had that one. I got I I had a Superman just like like it's like you're talking about. I had an Iron Man toy when the movie came out and that one was pretty cool cuz it had light up parts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I had this huge Superman to toy that was like posable mm -hmm. and it was like basically as tall as I was when I was a kid. It was it was like that, but it was Superman, like that, th like those know. three foot statues. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And it it stayed with me up until I was in like middle school or high school, and then I'm not sure where it went after that, which is weird because that's fairly recent. Yeah. Because we we've only been in one one other house since. Yeah, then. you moved once, so, so it's like it should be somewhere around, but I haven't seen it in a long time. I just finding old stuff like that where it's just like you completely forgot that this thing existed, but meanwhile yeah. it was your. It was your Woody from Toy Story. Yeah. Like you got your name written on the bottom of it. I'm just like, this is awesome. I've got these um I've got these Ninja Turtle action figures. Yeah. That um I still have them. I know exactly where they are too. That I just remember using. It was the um the two thousand two run of toys where they were doing because that's when one of the shows was out. It was I think it was two thousand two. Yeah. That's the one where it was like almost comic booky in its art style. Not the 2012, like, 3D and animated, the one before that. That's the one where Paulson did the voices, but not... I don't know. Gosh dang it. I'm not sure exactly, but... I remember a show from that time, but I don't... I can't think of the... It might style. have actually just been called TMNT. I can't remember. Yeah. Instead of... I, I could tell you the theme song, even, but it was like... It was like the one, two, three, four turtles. Like that one? Yeah. The two, it was a 2002 cartoon because uh, that, that was definitely the show. That would have been the most recent show from when I was born Yeah. to what I would have been watching. See, I remember – I mostly remember because obviously when I was younger, I was with my mom and my sister. My mm -hmm. mom watched Disney Channel with us, so mm -hmm. we watched a lot of Disney Channel. So when I was really, really young, I remember – 
Bob the Builder. Mm. That was when I watched like my kids' show. Other than that, we watched Hannah Montana and Kim Possible and The Replacements and stuff like that. Like that's what I remember. The Replacements. What's remember that? that show where the two kids were in a foster home and they got set up with this this company who they could just call anyone and replace anyone in their life. Teachers, parents. No, that's genius. That sounds like a genius idea. They got like a stunt dad and a spy mom. And See, that sounds familiar. It's If I showed you a picture of the, sh- you, of the art style. I probably would remember here, it. This, I'm just gonna I remember like the spy step parent thing or whatever. I, here's the thing. I didn't watch a ton of Disney Channel. I was always Cartoon Network. So my I think back and I think about, um, I think Dexter's Lab. Yeah. I think about Samurai Jack. A lot. Well, the thing is, for a long time, I wasn't allowed to watch Cartoon Network. And really? It was, it was because of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. My mom. My just dad hated it did... that show, and I don't know why. He I don't never know would what let she me saw, watch that but show. She hated it. Yeah. <laughs> he would never let me watch that show, but I would just do it anyway. It was like, <laughs> you work. I I'm a child. I watched Cartoon Network when I was older, and when when I hung out with Preston because I was at his grandma's house, and she didn't she didn't care. I my also mom think did. <laughs> it was so much of my like my attitude now is like there's also tsunami. Like, that was a huge... I do remember this. I do remember that. I remember... Uh, I never of, watched like it, watched Sonic it, but X. I remember it being on. Yeah, I I couldn't tell you, like, any specific plot points that I remember. I just remember the characters. <laughs> like, I just remember their faces. And I, That's more than I could tell you. But you remember Sonic X? Did you watch that when you were younger? That was the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon? Mm-hmm. Was it that? Was, it wasn't the one where he had was the brother the and sister. Kids one? Yeah. Yeah, I, or it wasn't, yeah. I don't know. I remember it being on. There's been like four, three or four. I can think of three Sonic cartoons off the top of my head. It was the yeah. Sad AM, uh, Sonic Underground, mm-hmm. and then Sonic X. Sonic X is, I think, the one that did like. It was basic. It had. It brought in like the weirder characters, like it, Vex and shit. It was like where that. I think the human. I think the kid's name is Chris. Where he wears that red yeah. and white shirt, and he came it's to a Sonic's weird, like, world somehow. Almost, almost Digimon style art style. I, but I, I don't remember anything specific because I remember watching like, I remember watching Digimon, and I remember watching um, Yu Gi Oh and stuff like that on that same channel. But Sonic X was the one that I was definitely Fox because Sonic is the most recognizable character. And we the used reason to have Sonic I remember two that was the cool, the coolest game I played when I was younger. I remember. Which one? Uh, Sonic Adventure Battle Two. Ba- yeah, that's really good. Sonic. Or the reason I remember that was because Fox Kids had, there was a morning show that they did for a while where it was, it was that Sonic show, Power Rangers Wild Force, which was my first experience to Power Rangers. Yeah. And then I think that team, that 2012 TMNT. So I remember those three a lot. And then I think Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon Indigo at the time, maybe. Maybe that was the period. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe. I, I think that's right. Maybe Pokemon was on something else. But I remember that block of television. Whether it was on multiple channels or not, I can't remember exactly. But... Be, what was I going to say? But I remember because Wild Force started on Fox Kids, I think. Yeah. And then the next that after that is when it was bought by Disney. Oh, so wait, Disney I didn't know bought that. yeah Disney bought Saban, and then from Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, and I think up to SPD maybe. Those were on a Disney Channel or something. I might be getting this completely wrong, but the Power Rangers networking I remember as a kid being so annoyed because yeah. it was on it would just go everywhere because then it was bought by Nickelodeon and then it started going to there I think it was whatever was before Samurai which might have been RPM I can't remember I am such a nerd I see I'm I'm thinking of like talking to the mic because I know I, I remember watching Power Rangers when I was younger I just don't remember which specific one mm-hmm. because all of them kind of blended together to me because I was you're, never you're a completely big fan fine of for thinking that because like the only reason that I don't feel that way is because I'm I've been such a nerd about it continuously yeah. through my as I've gotten older yeah but speaking of Pokemon I need to because I know you know a lot of Pokemon I know you're a fan yeah I love but Pokemon when you were younger which female companion do you remember with Ash? Dawn. 
Don was okay, the one I yes, remember. Yes, that's what I was going to say because I don't remember Misty when I was younger. I remember Misty going back and watching Pokemon, but when I was younger, all I remember is Don. Don, Don him. was the one because I think that was. I would have been too young to remember Misty. Yeah, that same for me. I I only remember Don being with him because you know, like you have those no, cartoon that's, crushes. No, that's I, not true. That was Don. <laughs> it, I remember Misty, but only not the first series. It was whenever she had Togepi. I remember her carrying around Togepi forever. Yeah. I, I think it was Misty at least. But I remember and then I remember Dawn and Piplup. That's what I always That's remember. That's what I'm thinking. I I literally Brock was still there. Yeah, cuz I remember Brock being there the entire time that I watched Pokémon, mm-hmm. but I only remember like I remember when Dawn got changed out and I was like I was like, "Ooh, that's stupid. I don't like anyone but Dawn because like I said, she had Dawn Pip-Lup. was like female." <laughs> Piplup was the coolest. Yeah. Like I I I always like Chimchar of that generation. I think that's Gen Four. That's the one that I had when I played Pokemon on the DS. Yeah, I like Chimchar was my was, was my main Pokemon. Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig. I think statistically, Turtwig is the best of those three. Like just stat wise, I just always pick Fire type. Like to be honest, that was always my go to because I thought Fire type would be the strongest. See, I like um. When I was younger, I would definitely go Fire type. But as I've gotten older, Grass types mostly. Yeah, because I just like status inflicting moves and Turtwig, if I remember right, had some really interesting types because I think he became kind of like a Torterra. It was like a ground grass or something like that. Yeah, uh, which I guess would have made him quad weak to water. So I don't remember why that was cool. And Polion was like a steel water, and then Chimchar was fighting fire. Yeah, or Infernape. And that was like that was the only the second time we had had a fighting fight fighter, until after that would have been black and white. <clears throat> would it have been the second time? Because it would have been okay. Uh, Torchic, Chimchar, mm-hmm. Tepig. What was after black and white? Was it X and Y? So it would have been. I feel See, like I'm missing one. I don't even know which one I had because the the cartridge I had for my DS, like it didn't have a picture on it. It didn't mm. have a box because oh. I got it from someone. It you was just got it from like a garage sale or something. I, I think I got it as like a secondhand game, mm. but it was so broken that I had to take a butter knife and pry it out of my DS every time I played and didn't want to play it. Seems like a great way to break your DS. Yeah, it never did as far as I remember, but it that definitely was like a good, good way for to my shock DS. yourself. I never, I never did that either. But mm. again, it, it just wasn't a very, it wasn't very good. You want a weird, you know what one of my weirdest memories from that time is, going on some kind of field trip. I couldn't tell you where or what or what it was about, but everyone was on, what was the DS chatting thing that you Picto could chat? Was that it? Yeah, I where remember. you could like draw and stuff and like. <laughs> Talk, be on like the same local wild wireless network and yeah. stuff. See, I remember. I never that. knew how to do that except for like when I was at home with my with my sister, and, and even then I barely knew how to work it. I like, don't know. <laughs> there's no way that stuff is still up. Like the I... servers for that? No, because everything. There's no support for DS anymore because you can't even uh... do Pokemon battles on on Diamond and Pearl anymore unless you're unless you're why unless you're wired or unless you start rom start messing with roms and shit. But speaking of servers, I I literally told my little brother that the Black Ops 1 servers on his PS3 wouldn't be up. Like he wouldn't be able to play online. Mm-hmm. The whole time he was able to play online. Okay, so those are up. And he never tried until like recently and he was like they were up the whole time. I was like, dude, that's not my fault. Like why I, would they still have those? I wouldn't assume those were up. I mean, Halo oh. Reach's uh, servers are still up. You can still go on online and play. Yeah. Is it on the original? Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm playing or on it... Xbox One. Okay, so you're playing on the Master Chief Collection. No, That's yeah. a... I, I no? got a, I got the original Halo Reach disc, but it... I... Okay. I can... I then I'm wondering it. if it's just the same servers for the Master Chief Collection and the... That does make sense, actually. Yeah, I was thinking that they just kept it running because it was such a popular game, but I was like, "That's weird." Yeah, they but that can't would pay for that. Like, yeah, because how old? Oh, Reach is also not that old. Nintendo is just also specifically bad about that, about yeah. shutting stuff down. Like, I think we Mario Mario Maker One stuff is going away soon. 
Like the whole surface for those are going down soon. Is less than ten years old, isn't it? It's like five years old, which made me feel old. Then why the heck are they taking the servers down? I because one, no one bought the Wii U. Well, across yeah. the board, no one bought the Wii U. Second, everyone bought the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you know what? Let's cut our losses and just everyone bought the Switch and no one bought the Wii U. I say that as God. both of them are right next to us. <laughs> I'm going to be real. The only reason I have that Wii U hooked up is for Xenoblade. And that's it. And Fortune Street. Two games I like to play. And I can't play Fortune Street because I'm not having that many people over at once. Yeah. See, no, I we only ever had... We had a Wii for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then we finally got an Xbox 360. But my parents didn't know the difference between PS3 and Xbox 360. So we couldn't play online. Mm Because they didn't want to pay for it. They didn't want to play for live or whatever. Yeah. So then I finally got my own PS3, and that's when I was able to play with my friends on stuff like GTA and Mm -hmm. Call of Duty. As much as Nintendo has been real mean about their online or like their community stuff lately with the Smash thing and the Splatoon, like getting real mad about tournaments and stuff. Yeah. a A friend of mine described it perfectly. It's like, I've never seen a company that so many people love so clearly say I hate you to their customers. (laughs) well apple i guess apple (laughs) is also that but like not nintendo nintendo is just like constantly giving people the middle finger yeah but um i'll give them this at least they only charge like 20 bucks a month for their online service yeah or 20 bucks a year sorry 20 bucks a year as opposed to freaking playstation and xbox who charge you 60 like it's, that's a full retail game just to be able to play yeah. other games. And granted, I think because like Xbox and PlayStation both are much much give you much better games when it comes to um like every month there's like two free games you get. Yeah. Uh however, Nintendo just has like this small category of NES and SNES games. Which I wish just let me buy the re- other games it's like yeah let me play gamecube and n64 games please like i don't i don't understand and how then we get stuff that, like what, back what is it what is it called when you can play old games on a new backwards compatibility I, I don't understand how it's supposed to work with the new consoles like the ps5 and the xbox One. they do ps i know for a fact xbox one i don't know about ps5 or Xbox Series X. Or yeah, whatever. Xbox, I called it Xbox One X. But so I did I. <laughs> the, it, give PlayStation this and Nintendo this. They've definitely got better naming schemes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the new Xboxes. Um, I'll give it. I forgot what I was even gonna say. You're talking about uh, you you went from talking about how you wanted to play N64 games. And GameCube games on the new... Yeah, Nintendo's. there was some a point I was going to make about Xbox. Oh, Xbox One Series X. Every Xbox game back or every previous generation's consoles, yeah. games are playable on it. So everything is backwards compatible to it. That's... Which See, that I, is super appealing to me. That, I love that. makes me want to buy the system. Because I'm like, oh, I can... I've got... Because I've got, like... I've got a bunch of the old games and stuff. I just don't, I don't hook up the 360 anymore. Yeah. Like uh, unless I'm like really in the mood for play a game, and then like I play it for a bit. Or for a lot of them, there's just a bet newer, better way to play a lot of those games. Yeah. Like a, if I wanted to play any, I don't play a lot of COD, but like if I did, I would I would do like a more recent one. Yeah. Because, like, as much people, as much shit as I'll get for saying this, they're all kind of pretty much the same game. Multiplayer has not aged well. Has on, it not? Especially See, the Black Ops games them. for me. Um, I mean, I guess by Black Ops 2, they had it better, but, I mean, and yes, like you said, I will get a lot of shit for saying this. Black Ops 1 multiplayer, to me, is kind of garbage. The maps are fine, but mm. the gun customization and stuff like that, it's just not. I couldn't point out one map other than Nuketown. Jungle. Jungle was my favorite Black Ops. I do remember the jungle. Okay. Because I'd always get up on that perch and just sit there. I think, um... Freaking camper. (laughs) I'm also just more into single players. Like, the only game I've recently been ever, like, in the past year I've been itching to play that's only on Xbox 360 was the X-Men Wolverine game. 
I like, never played X Men Origins Wolverine. It is. It's based off the movie, the X Men oh. Origins Wolverine <laughs> movie. That's a terrible movie. But it's as bad as Batman v Superman. Some would say worse. I would say equal. <laughs> um, it is an amazing game. Because here's the thing. You remember that, like, five-minute opening credit call- crawl of X-Men Origins Wolverine? That's the best part of the movie, where it's Wolverine and Sabretooth going through, like, every war that America has fought in in the past 200 years? I Yeah. So I- it's, like, the Civil War, or, like, the Revolution, and the Civil War, and then uh, World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, or, like... And for the record, it's not every war this yeah. <laughs> the America's fought. But like all the all the really really big all the ones. keynotes, all the keynote wars. You don't need to you don't need to hear about the whatever the uh, yeah we'll war here. twelve or whatever. But anyway, um, so well, that five minute credit crawl, which is the best part of the movie, that's a good chunk of the game. Is just Wolverine going through different wars and shredding people. That. As morbid as that sounds from the outside, that also sounds it's so much fun. Really to play. cool. It's so much fun because well, you just you're Wolverine and like you're <laughs> just, a lo- like you crash land in like Vietnam or something. I can't even remember. Yeah. And like the you're on your own and you're just like welp snicked <laughs> and just start tearing through people that are trying to kill you. Dude, I had like. And You'd be surprised with the is, most ridiculous stuff you can find fun in, especially when you're younger playing those it games. It is bloody. Oh. I'm not even <laughs> like people with machine guns are mowing you down, but you're Wolverine, so you can just keep moving. But you know, half your face is missing. Oh my god! Here's the thing. I'm I'm hyping this up. There's no way it it's it holds up the way I remember it, or it might because I've heard other people bring up this game. Listen, I would suggest not going back and playing it until you've watched at least a little bit of gameplay because you will disappoint yourself. I saw a little bit not too long ago. I'm like, yeah, this looks like how I remember it. Oh, well, then, heck, I'd go back and play it. <clears throat> it looked, it was so much, like, I'm like, this is Wolverine. He's hacking, he's slashing. You you work your way all the way through, like, the Weapon X program and stuff where you get the Metal Claws. And, yeah. Or the Adamantium Claws. See, what I remember, it, it's like like you're talking about, like, you remember the specific part of the game because yeah. it was like the most fun for you. I remember just doing completely stupid stuff on games that I played. Like I was talking about Sonic Adventure Battle 2. I would play as Sam. Wait, is it Sam the Cat? The big uh big big the oh cat. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm thinking Sam. The, but I was I was play as Big there's, the Cat um, in there the was city. a cartoon with a big purple cat that was named Sam. I can't remember. I don't remember that either. There I can't I remember why. its name. Oh or maybe I'm thinking of head. Eek the Cat. I might be thinking of Eek the Cat. That's Dude, a different... too many cats in pop culture. There's that's, a lot of cat, ca- a lot of cartoon cats. Social commentary. <clears throat> There's too many cats in pop culture. I disagree. I, I like cats. We need more cats. Well, I do too, but you know, it's, it's, they they need more creative names for cats. Can I tell I think. you? Can I tell you? I my my cat Scarlet. She's been coming. She she was staying down here. Yeah. Even before I was like work was like working down here. Yeah. Um so she's kind of used to being down here cuz it's cool and it's underground. Mm-hmm. Um so the cats have been hanging out here now that I'm down here. They just lo- I'll be sitting at my desk doing work. They'll just hop in my lap Aww. and just then we'll just uh, the biggest issue is that I just have to keep them from eating my headphones. <laughs> I'm like, no. See, but it is the most adorable. I have so many photos of her just laying, or if I'm laying on this couch, she'll just hug. And yeah. It's it's so much, it's so adorable. I'm not used to having a pet. It's weird to have the dog around the house now. Mm-hmm. Because, like. I you got a dog. Dude, It's it's been a pretty good experience because this is not a, this is not a puppy. Mm-hmm. It's, it was dogs, someone found it at a gas station and we got all the shots and stuff. But he is a super good dog. Other than not being like bathroom trained, mm. like he doesn't bite and he he barely chews stuff up. And what he does chew up is nothing important. He'll like pull napkins out of the trash and just like mm-hmm. tear them apart with his teeth. And even I'm trying to condition him out of that, but like mm. he's just so susceptible to love now. Like the more we've had him, the more he's like he's used to rolling over and letting me pet him. Like it's just it's it's a 
It's amazing. The only thing I had to condition the cats to do was not when they were kittens, because I got them both when they were kittens. We just found them in yeah. different places. Um, <clears throat> they um, they started going after wires, both of them, and I was very adamant that they don't do that. I was so strictly disciplining them, and now Scarlet's like. She goes after my headphones when I'm wearing them, but only when I'm wearing them. <laughs> yeah. And it's because she's in my lap, I guess. And it's only that. So I can put up with her gnawing through a a, a, like a pair of earbuds. Yeah. Ex- especially because I just use them when I'm on that computer. But I can't deal with her gnawing through... Uh, like a stereo thing or like an hdmi cable. or an h <laughs> yeah if it's just an hdmi cable that's easily replaceable but like she starts gnawing through the wires like these xlr cables and stuff that's like a little bit more of a price point to replace yeah or if like or like the power cord to something that's like doesn't have a detachable power cord you know mm-hmm. like that like the mixer God. It, it's just that's it's one. The, that's the, one reason I'm glad we don't have a puppy. Just because of tearing stuff up like tearing that. Tearing stuff up. Um, <coughs> my mom found a um found a dog outside her work the other week, and we had to go and she gave it to one of her employees who wanted it. And I was just like, okay, we'll give it to her. But we had to like we were trying. There was a couple hours where we were like, what do we do with this dog? Yeah. Until they finally took it, and I was like, well, no one, no, someone had um. We we had checked to see if like if it belonged to somebody, but we knew we knew exactly like we checked for if it was chipped and everything, but like we knew exactly what happened because they saw it. The yeah. guy pulled up in a truck and dropped the dog off and ran. Oh, uh, so they they were trying to get rid of the dog. So that's that's awful. that's some homeward bound shit for you. That's your daily dose of sadness. Um, I didn't really think that's what happened to Snowball. Is somebody just let him outside? Just and let him go back in. Yeah, that's bad. But um, now, that's not the only thing my mom's found outside her work lately. Yesterday, she she gave me a text. It was like, hey, how much are AirPods worth? And I was like, a couple hundred bucks. Why? And she was <laughs> like, I, I, do you know how to like make them make them work and stuff? I'm like, it's just a Bluetooth. It's just, I don't know. I don't I don't use Apple products, so yeah. I'm outside that ecosphere. But it can't be. Oops, certainly difficult. Uh, and she was like, "Okay, well, I almost ran over a pair in the parking lot today, and I found a fully working, like it was the case yeah. and the two head AirPods. She just found them on the ground today or yesterday, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, um, bring them home, and I'll see if I can pair. I didn't know if they would pair to out non Apple products, and they do." Oh, I, I could. Really I, I expected would. they would, but I also like. I also expect apples to be dicks. And that's yeah, exactly. That was my point. Is I I didn't think they would because I think Apple is like trying to make it so you have to use this product for this product, and same thing with the Apple Pencil. Like you can't really use it as a stylus, but you mm. can use it for your MacBook and your iPad. Exactly, I could totally see them doing that. Yeah. Um, but. Remind me, there's an Apple thing I want to bitch about in a second, though. <laughs> um, but she found she brought them home, and I was like, "Let's see if we'll pair." And they paired, and they were and they were they were named. They were called Joshua's iPods, and I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> okay, Mister <laughs> Joshua, I'm, I don't know who you are." Poor but Joshua. I don't know. And then I was looking up, like, is there a way for these to be like tracked? Yeah. So we're like, we're like, is he gonna come and try to find these, or do we need to try and find him? Like, what's the what's the rule of thumb that we can just be like, and these are ours now? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, where can I morally just be like? And apparently, there is like, you can use Find My iPhone for them, so you oh, can I... track track them down. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how if he. I don't know how. That, that works does it just show you where they are or does it and i was looking up it's like it will make a noise if it's being tracked down and it can only be done if they're outside the case but i was like is that just for if you're missing one or if that like can you trace down the pair i was really trying to figure out like 
can this guy can, find his AirPods? Yeah. I was yeah. like, because if he can, it's like, yeah, I'll give, we'll give them back to him. But like, if he can't, it's like, well, I guess we just have a pair of AirPods now. Yeah. It's like, and what we discovered was also like, I don't have a, I don't have an iPhone and my mother doesn't have an iPhone, but we do have, um, she does have an iPad that she uses to just like browse the internet and stuff. Because, yeah. like, her eyes are worse than mine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, I, iPhones, I guess, have better displays. Or she has an iPad, rather, for that. Yeah. So, this has the bigger display. Um. So, it was like, well, these... Here's what I wanted to bitch about is fucking... Why does Apple still use their own proprietary cables? For their charging. Uh, that's... When everything else on the planet has gone to USB-C. Yeah. I'm like, why have you always had... I get the whole, like, be different, think different thing. It's your motto. It's Steve Jobs eating a, wearing a turtleneck and shit. But, like... Yeah. At some point, it's just, like, just be convenient. <laughs> it's like every other... Thing uses USB C. I have a million USB C cables throughout yeah. my house. My Xbox controller, my headphones, my literally anything I can find the in my house other than my iPhone uses a USB C. Yeah, it's like I'm just like, why? Why do you have to make your own thing? And I was like, well, because then you have to buy it from us. I'm like, yeah, I get that, you greedy bastards. But like. Well. They use their own charging cable, then they can have their own battery, so they can make sure their batteries don't last more than a year. So you have to buy a new one. Don't, didn't <laughs> they just announce that they were like you? They they're manufacturing their own chips and stuff now. I wouldn't be surprised. Like they, they're moving away from like um, outsourcing. No, from like whoever's making their current processors or whatever. I I would have to reread it. I don't remember exactly. This was a bit ago. I I wouldn't be surprised. But also like. What you're just doing is furthering the divide between people it's like who are in your ecosystem and people that are never going to be in your ecosystem. Some Yeah, I know people who actively refuse to get Apple products. Yeah, I'm one of them. I just yeah. like, I can't. I've used them in like workplaces or in school. And I'm like, it's a fine thing. It's not what I want to do because yeah. I don't want to deal with your Apple bullshit. Yeah. Like, I don't want to deal with <clears throat> your own having to back up things through you and, like, do all the specific little things when I can just do, like, I can do things my own way with a PC and also outperform you most of the time. Yeah. When one exception is, um, the one exception I'll give Apple is they've got a monopoly on the music-making industry. Yeah. Like, if, if, I, if I wanted to make, <clears throat> if I wanted to edit a video or something if i wanted to me mess with an audio thing it's like i'm gonna use um i guess they got final cut but i don't use final cut i use premiere but then i also have um but i realize it's like if you're using windows and adobe <clears throat> granted adobe works about 80 percent of the time as you can tell by the f two and a half hours of <laughs> troubleshooting before we started and I still don't have a complete faith that it's working. I, like, like it, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, once we're done with this and we listen to the audio, there's just to be so much weight taken off our shoulders because then we'll know we're not just talking right now to an empty fucking space. It's, and nobody's ever going to hear this. Like, we'll at least know that this is usable audio and that we actually did I don't, something. And here's the thing. There's a line of usable, and then there's the <laughs> line of, like, of passable i'm like there's a yeah. certain quality threshold that i would like to have and yeah. if i'm if i meet the bare minimum of that i'll be fine if it sounds like it did last time we listened to the audio like when when you let me listen to the it, the last i'd be completely okay yeah with that. if it sounds like that we're good if it sounds like it did when we started troubleshooting i can't use it yeah it's too be literally awful no <laughs> it, will, it will ear destroy everyone <laughs> and if it's just i it's fine and the more i do these podcasts and stuff the more I'll get better at figuring that out. Yeah. And the more Google searches I will make to understanding what my problems are. <clears throat> but also, I won't blame that jank on Adobe because um, 
it was happening with other programs too. So yeah, that's not its fault. That's that might just be like the mixer or the mic's fault. We'll we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. And it's honestly, I don't mind like not being able to use this stuff because honestly, me and you would probably end up talking, shooting the shit for an hour anyways. Oh so. yeah, that's uh, it. We would either be sitting here with mics in front of us talking, or we would be out in the parking lot. <laughs> freezing our asses off doing the same thing so. doing the exact same thing i'm like get it out of the way now. i'm wearing we'll shorts and no <laughs> shoes and yet i am still going to continue talking to you because i like <laughs> talking to you we'll just end up standing there with the wind blowing just who knows what, what it'll be about but it it will be worth it <laughs> i mean you would just be sitting there shivering just like i'm not cold you cold no i'm not cold not cold at all no, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, uh, Saitama. His uh, Saitama and Superman. We just go back to One Punch Man. For I would, the third time tonight. <laughs> for the third time, back to that show. I don't. I need it. I never watched the second season. I didn't either. I didn't hear good things, and I just didn't watch it. I know it was it was that animation problem. That was the was reason it? that I never got around to it was because I wasn't excited for it because I loved the animation in the first season so much. It is really good. That when I heard that it fell off like it did, I just wasn't excited, and I'd never got around to it. Okay, that doesn't give me high hope. Like I'll still watch it at some point, probably just like yeah. You know, I'm not gonna run. And it came out like two years ago or some something or like a year ago. Also, when you first showed it to me. Um, we couldn't find any any dubs, and I've went back on Hulu recently and mm. actually watched an episode. I mean, I'll watch the sub. I don't care about that. Oh yeah, I don't either. But I just I didn't think they had any dubs. I and will I went say back and they've dubbed every episode. One Punch Man's dub is pretty good. I will say that much. But like, there are certain animes I will watch. I have to watch, or I prefer to watch dub. Like Cowboy Bebop specifically yeah. is the prefer the best way to watch that show is the dub. It's just better that way. You know, Amy was saying that she actually. <clears throat> She, her, I, I don't know if they're dating, but the guy she's talking to, Jax, watches anime, and she mm-hmm. was saying that she doesn't like it because of the dub he was watching, because they were overacting so much, and it was just really. It depends cheesy. how deep in the anime rabbit hole he is in. It, I it, think she said it was Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, Monster or Hunter X Hunter. Hunter? No, not Hunter X Hunter, because I Preston's watched that one. I know what that one is. I think I think it was called Monster Hunter. I haven't heard of it. it Monster Hunter is a game. I'm gonna look it up because I okay. remember seeing it on Netflix. So I, okay. I, I don't know, but Hunter X Hunter, I, I do know that one. I have a friend. Um, she's been showing me a bunch of Korean dramas lately, so that's like the rabbit hole I'm down right now. Yeah, of like various. Uh, and there was one we were watching that was based off of a webtoon. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called Sweet Home, and if you like batshit insanity mixed with like horror movie monsters you would like that show wait so it's called sweet home like what what does that mean what is what is the name from you know i've seen the show i couldn't tell you (laughs) because i was like you know hunter x hunter is because of (laughs) so i'm gonna give you the soft pitch for this show for, for this korean drama i watched um Maybe they, called that because it's set in Korea. The okay is a group of people trapped inside their apartment complex. Oh, okay. because the outside world is being transformed into monsters. That the way you become a monster is based off of like your own desires. Like if you are consumed by your own desires to a point, you will become a monster. So anyone can turn into a monster at any time. And there is like a warning sign or whatever. So they know when to like throw people in like quarantine and shit. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so it's called Sweet Home because their apartment building is safe? I, I don't. Yeah, sure. Because they're <laughs> trapped in their homes, I guess. I was about to say, that's, that's the only thing I, like I could think. Because but, <laughs> and there's like, oh, what can I? Being I'm trying to think of the, the only before. examples I can like think of really kind of spoil some stuff. Yeah, but like there's there's just every kind of monster you can think of in that show. Like, and it it's all based on like me and my other friend who I was watching it with too. Um, so there was like a couple of us watching it. I uh, the joke between me and her was like, yeah, the the way people turn into monsters is based on dramatic irony. Yeah, so it's just like whatever is 
the dramatic thing, whatever the irony of this situation is, is like, that's the monster you're going to become or whatever. <laughs> so, okay, wait. By, and it's based off a of webtoon, so. By monsters, you mean vampires and werewolves? No, and... like, more like, almost like creatures out of Twilight Zone. So think of stuff like that. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of what what could turn you into a monster let, let and me, what, what the monster okay. would have to do with Mild-ish spoilers. Like, there's one dude who's, like, ish, kind of. There's one dude who's, like, a really, like, shitty guy and is, like, really mean. Yeah. And he's balding. He's, like, a store owner who's balding and stuff. Yeah. And he turns into what looks like Cousin It. Oh so he's gosh. just this giant hair like hair monster thing yeah there's that there's um there's one lady oh i don't even know if if anyone's interested in watching that show just skip ahead a bit or just don't watch this part and i know you're not gonna watch it but yeah <clears> if i do it'll be a long time so yeah I won't remember there's anything. there's one lady who like lost her kid and is like fully going crazy. Like she's carrying around the stroller and not, and there's no baby in it. <laughs> oh, like so she's actually like kind of losing it. Yeah. She literally just like transforms into a giant fetus and is like being s- suspended from the ceiling and stuff. And the, here's the thing: <laughs> the, the it's a Netflix show. So like the hit, the the effects are hit and miss in some places, but they're when they hit, they fucking hit. Yeah. And when they miss, they are mild misses. Wait, wait, wait. So I don't know if I heard you say that it was a cartoon. No, it's not. It's a lot. It's a. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I was picturing a it's cartoon not an this anime. entire time. It's not like an anime. It's a, it's a, um, it's based off a of webtoon manga and, uh, it's a live action thing. It's I actually action might watch drama. that then. It, it's, it's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, I was I was thinking just some some anime about people turning into monsters, but now that you said it's a live action, that that makes no, me want to watch it. Kind of cool, and it's it's pretty gory. Okay, like I if I had to rate the gore, it's like a solid six or seven. Damn. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> than the it's not scene? overly done, but it's also not like. It's not like certain movies where they use gore and it's cool, like. If I watched Kill Bill, the gore in that's not like super ridiculous or over, well, it is over the top, but it's not like yeah. absurdity. It's just kind of cool. Yeah. But I give it more points because it's cool. You know. Yeah. Or like a John Wick movie, <clears throat> a John Wick action movie where um, it's like you see a guy getting shot in the head, chest twice, and then in the head, and there's this huge blood splatter or whatever. Yeah. Or back to Kill Bill, it's like she cuts his head off and there's the giant blood fountain. It's just like cool. The, the stuff in this stuff is like the whole show kind of revolves around this like this kind of body dysmorphia type stuff. Okay. Which is creepier and some it is it is I wouldn't be shocked if it had the horror tag on it, but it is not it is much more like a survivor type story. Yeah. Yeah, I might I might actually and it is on Netflix, right? Yeah, I'm trying to. Where? So I might yeah, actually it is. like at least just look it up when I get home and yeah, check out. It's ten episode. episodes. Okay, and that's not bad at all. I could so, binge that in like a day. <laughs> that is my recommend. That is my my show recommendation. Speaking of other cool Netflix shows, have you watched King Queen's Gambit yet? I have it. Is that about chess? Yeah, it's about chess. <laughs> okay, I, it is great. I don't understand why. How a show about chess could be cool. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying I haven't been able to. Because it's about chess. It's okay. It's about chess, but it's about the specific character that's playing chess. The girl they have playing. Uh, there, there's it. It takes multiple periods where like it's this young girl and then this adult woman. Yeah. And it's kind of seeing like, uh. It goes through her life kind of deal. I, I still have, like, two more episodes to watch. Yeah. But it, so far, it's been great. Um, <clears throat> And they're, um they're like, hour longs. Yeah. So they're they're decent in length. But, like, at no point in it am I, uh, am I bored, bored. I'm yeah. just, like, I'll say the first episode is all, it's the establishing episode where it sets up a lot of stuff. Yeah. But it is 
one of the more important things. It, it will get you, if it if you watch the first episode and by the end of it it gets you, you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine for the rest of the show. See, I did if I that, did consider it because you know a show called Queen's Gambit would get my attention because the first thing I think <laughs> is because you oh, think about Queen's Green Gambit. Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> but but I didn't know what it was about until It's not. It's about <laughs> chess. It has nothing to do with Archer. I assumed it wasn't about the Queen's Gambit, the boat. But that's the first thing I thought of. So I was like, <clears throat> what is this show? And then I found out it was about you chess. You know, I, I feel like, so much mind. better about like the Power Rangers talk and being a nerd considering you just brought that up. <laughs> Dude. You know what? Listen, you have to find my forte and then I will be able to talk for hours about just like the most obscure and random stuff. I've I I told you earlier about my my twenty twenty one resolution of ke- keeping track of every movie I've watched. In yeah. Twenty one. I almost want to go through a few of them right now and just say my quick quickest thought. Yeah. <clears throat> out, out. Can you see how long we've been recording for? Um, what part of the screen is it? It should be like bottom right ish. He's standing. People. What is he doing? Oh. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So it's just been, okay. We okay. We yeah. We still got plenty of time. Uh, so far we are currently like fifteen days in, and I've watched like ten movies. Jeez. I watch a lot of movies, and that here's the thing: that's movies. That's not Queen's Gambit and yeah. other shit. Um, so some of these I had seen before, and some of them I haven't. I I finally watched Howl's Moving Castle, which is actually a movie I didn't see. Um. Not my favorite G- Ghibli movie, not my least favorite. Yeah, that's about the extent I'll go with it. Um, <clears throat> I watched the animated Death of Superman from the DCAU, which was saw so it. It it does it takes that one story that's really not much from the from the mid nineties of killing Superman. Yeah, and it's like let's let's make it at least a coherent story ish. Like the book itself is eh, but right. like this movie <clears throat> changes a few things and to make it more suspenseful. The main thing is that Lois doesn't know that Clark is Superman. Oh, so that's the big change to that. Yeah. So it's like she finds out, and then you know it's the death of Superman, and and then Doom stays there and yeah fights everyone. Let me ask you: Did you have you ever seen another version of Doomsday where he is part human? Superman became Doomsday at one point. If you're but talking I, I comic mean, like, stuff, I mean, like the, the regular, like the character Doomsday. Have you ever seen a part where like Doomsday is turning back and forth from a human to no, Doomsday? No, to... he's not a Hulk character. No, I mean, like there, there is a version of Doomsday where they. Do oh, that, I've never seen but it. But I'm asking, like, if there's ever if that's ever been done again. No, I don't think so. I didn't. I didn't think so. But I was just. I thought that was a weird <clears throat> take on the character. Yeah, that's weird. Because that's not what Doomsday is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's why I was confused when um, they introduced him. But I watched King no. Kong from 1933. Yeah. Which was a... Uh, I had seen... I think I've seen it before. If it, It's just been a bit. But, like, if not, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Watching the original stuff like that. It's like watching older stuff. I'm like, yeah. this and the, It's so cool to see, like, how that movie looks and how the cinematography and all that and how they did so yeah. many of those effects and stuff back then. It was like stop motion and forced perspective stuff. And it was like, because there are a few scenes where uh, they built a giant monkey hand to hold the, I, I forgot the woman's name, but the 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 Kong's obsession girl. <laughs> yeah. uh, it the was just cool to watch. Love interest. Yo Jimbo, which is a, which is one of the, oh the quintessential the jam samurai movies. No. Okay. Oh no, there is a guy of? with a gun in the movie. If that's what you're thinking of. I'm thinking of something akimbo or something like that. <clears throat> it had different Daniel movie. Radcliffe in it. No, Daniel. Different movie. This movie's from like the 50s oh, or 60s. Then yeah, no. <laughs> it is the quintessential samurai western. The reason I watched it was because I was listening, I think it was Adam Savage's podcast or whatever, he mentioned it when talking about uh, some of the cinematography for Mandalorian. Yeah. And that shows very much a Western or a samurai movie. So I was like, I'm going to go back and watch a bunch of Westerns and samurai movies. Yeah, yeah. And so I checked that out, and I was like, if you like samurai movies, you'll like it. Uh, 
I got real sad one day, and I watched the movie I always watch when I'm very, very sad. Yeah. I watched Enter the Dragon, okay. like the Bruce Lee movie. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Anytime I'm really sad or going through like a depression, depression spell, I watch that movie, and it makes me feel... It makes me feel better. Yeah. I feel I am a I I'm more involved. I just it's my feel good movie. Like I watch that movie if I want to feel good. Yeah. So see it's like I and, know that I, when I watch like certain movies, they will elicit like tears and it will kind of like do an emotional reset for me. It's not even that cuz like I know for a fact that like better there's movies that do what it does better, but it's like it's a Bruce Lee movie. It, I like the characters. It's yeah. cool. There's a like a there's the villain is essentially Doctor No, but like not. Yeah. And I just anytime I'm sad, I watch that movie, and it makes me feel better. Um, in that same vein, I watched Police Story, which is a Jackie Chan movie, which um, not his best, not his worst. Wait, is that? Why do I feel like? Who else was in that? It was, was that was that a buddy comedy? No, you're thinking of um, the other movie where he's a cop. He's a cop, and there's this. Uh, this movie was made like black actor with him. No, it's not that. It's not that movie. I know what movie you're talking about. It's not that movie. Police Story was. It's an older Jack. It's young Jackie. Um, Thor Ragnarok, Deadpool. I did like a screen. Me and my friends were watching some Discord over Discord, and yeah, I watched a bunch of movies with them because like we're all in quarantine, so we can't. Go out and do things, so. Side note, I've never seen Deadpool 2, <clears throat> and I really need to see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can watch Deadpool 2. We'll commentate it if we want. Um, And then, this is embarrassing. I am a huge fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah. Where it's, which is just riffing on movies. So me and my friends on Discord riff movies all the time. So in the span of three days, fun. we watched High School Musicals 1, 2, and 3. Just to rag on them. Hey, don't be embarrassed of that. And, and like, I'm going to be real. It's like, I was kind of dreading it going in. I was like, I've watched worse things, you know? Dude, I've been watching, okay, not recently. I stopped watching it whenever I stopped, started watching BoJack. Mm-hmm. But I watched Hannah Montana very recently. That's why? Like, of my own accord. Just went back and watched episodes of it. Because I remember, like, some of it so well mm-hmm. that it's just, like, it's a, it's just a nostalgia trip for me. Just to watch. Yeah, might be it. But I also, lines. I don't think I watched these movies when I was a kid. So I was like, let's just watch them. It'll be fun to joke around. And that's what it was. We were just <laughs> joking around. And you know what? That is the preferred way to watch those movies. You know what? So many little if I had to rank them, those characters that it's almost like you did watch it. <laughs> we also found out that apparently um, Zac Efron and... Um, Oh, what's the main girl's name? Um, uh, what it starts with the V. Vanessa Hudgens. Yes. Apparently, they were dating through all three of those movies. Wait, really? And it is real obvious by the third one that they were dating through all three of those mm-hmm. movies. Okay, wait. Now go back to you were gonna rank them. I want to hear which one you think is the best. Okay, I think the best is two. Okay. Three, then one. Here is why. Two. Two was the perfect balance between one and three, where yeah. one, they had a low budget and had to really rely. I I hesitate to even say it like this, but like <laughs> they had to rely more on the emotion of the characters. Oh my gosh. But the first one that no one was really like, they needed they some more green. acting classes. Yeah. So it was like, it's very clearly a Disney Channel thing. And it's like, here is your movie, like, but they had to rely a lot more on the characters and less on the music. Yeah, three, they do the opposite. And they rely way too much on the production design Definitely. and the, like, the fact that they, there was two hits before it, and then now I'll give it this: all the production design is gorgeous in that in the third one. Yeah, like it, it's pretty solid. Actually, the boys are back was actually that's actually a, a great movie. scene i actually really like that scene me too uh three i think and it almost like is almost nonsensical in like the emotions of the characters two is the perfect balance between the two i think yeah so it was like i get the struggles of these these relationships and the and it was like the there was clearly a budget increase but not a, a giant you know yeah so 
that that that's my opinion of that's my opinion of the High School Musical franchise. Before we move off High School, Musical. I know that my other friend is bitching at me that we still technically hasn't watched all of them because there's like the Sharpay <laughs> Sharpay spinoff, Big and I watched the trailer for it on Disney Plus. I am not excited <laughs> to watch that, dude. You gotta watch the whole series. Come on, I I know I I and apparently there's also like. A, a series or some shit. The series is supposed to be good though. I haven't watched it, but is it? it? I have good heard good stuff about it. Okay, I was like, do I have to round out this? <laughs> Why is there a franchise? Why is there a universe here? What is with the High School Musical cinematic universe? <laughs> now speaking of that though, you know, Cat McNamara was supposed to be on a High School Musical show <laughs> way before. <laughs> that that one that show way before Disney Plus was even an idea. I do, why? I just <laughs> I don't know. But they, they did. keep t- telling me that I need to watch it. We need to watch it. I was like, I need a break because we watched yeah. all three of these. So it's like, can can we put? <laughs> and Wandavision is out. I want to go watch that. <laughs> but before we get off of it, I need to, I need to hear your favorite song from High School Musical two. From two? Because I can tell you mine, but it's definitely not going to be the same one as yours. Because mine is. Actually, probably one of the worst scenes in the movie. Oh, that's a really good. I, you know what? I actually need to look at the song list because I can't remember all of it. It's just like this I is really not the conversation cool. I thought the two grown men would be having. Listen today. It's we are we are two thousands kids, and is it, on? <laughs> it would. It's like two grown men, like two like thirty something year old men talking about He Man or something. I don't know. I talk about He-Man. I love Listen, it. Talk- I just talked a friend into watching She-Ra. I'm and trying She-Ra, to think of something like if no, if you haven't seen She-Ra, know. Netflix on Netflix She-Ra, whoo, that show was great. I have heard that, but I don't know. It is. I don't know what it did differently that everyone loves it so much. I want to finish this High School Musical discussion, but yeah, yeah. in quick, in the quick just of it, it is the love child of Avatar: The Last Airbender and Steven Universe. That is very bold. Yeah, that is what it is. Um. If I had to say my favorite one in the second movie, the second one has the baseball scene, right? Yeah. Wait, yeah, no. That's it. The I don't dance. Is that the second yeah, one? Yeah, that's the second one because I'm looking at the song list. You, okay, my, my favorite was the one where Zach Efron goes out by himself on the golf course and does, <laughs> he does all like those that dramatic he, movements. You know what that scene is the I'm equivalent not of? I'm going to stop. Where? <laughs> it's the equivalent of. Footloose when he goes out to the barn and is yes. doing like the, the the very jerky like spinning like, dance. Except for in Footloose, it actually like to kind never of works. Yeah, and when Zac Efron does it, and I for some reason when I was little, I thought that scene was really cool, which was really daunting for me to go back and see it again and be like, what is this? Like, what it's is not the this? worst scene in that. Like, no, it's it's not. It's the just worst scene in that movie strange. is like one of the opening songs. That's Sharpay's song. The one where she's in the pool. Here's the other weird oh, ass thing. The fabulous. That yeah. Yeah. The here's another weird thing we discovered. In the credits to High School Musical Two, there's a cameo of Miley Cyrus. What? She's just in like in one of like in one of the crowd dancing shots. She's just in it, and we were like. Had she had a show by this point, or was like, is this just a weird cameo? Wait, tell or... me you did the research because I want to know now. We looked deep into it and it was like her show had was either just airing, yeah, or was like being fin- about to air. Because I didn't know how young Miley Cyrus was when her show started. I thought for some reason I thought she was at least sixteen. She was like fourteen. <laughs> really? Jeez. Yeah. We discovered that most of the cast of High School Musical was like. 18 in the first one and like 20 something by the third one. Yeah. Tw- early 20s. God. Uh if you want to know my opinion on the other two movies, <laughs> the best one is um from the first one. I I I guess just get your head in the game. Oh, it's yeah. the only one I can remember to be honest. With the basketball dance scene. Yeah. That is pretty cool. It, it was okay. Uh and 3 is definitely the junkyard scene. Yeah. Okay. Then we're in At no point agreement. in my life am I ever going to listen to those soundtracks, but like to watch a movie to rag on it with my friends. Yeah. Like it, it, I've watched worse movies to rag on. Hey, like I said, when I go back and watch stuff like that, 
like my sister watched it when she was younger, so it's it's just nostalgia for me. And you know how like strict I am about movies. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I've seen worse musicals. Hey, you know what? That's a compliment for them because yeah. they got way <laughs> they got a lot of shit for doing those movies, but you know what? They had value. Zac Efron is like he's doing fine. He's doing fine. Oh, yeah, he is. That did not do anything <laughs> bad no. to his career. It he's was fine. Only, he's I don't know what Vanessa Hudgens is doing. I don't know if she's acting or if she's like. I just haven't. I don't know enough about her. Ooh, I just almost mistaked her for Mila Kunis. That's. I don't know who that is. Mila Kunis, uh, that '70s show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she played Meg in Family Guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know one of them is like a TikTok star now. Oh. Um. That could be either one of them. It's probably Vanessa not, Hudgens. Not Vanessa Hudgens or Zac Efron, one of the other characters. Oh. Um. Ashley Tisdale went to do Phineas and, Fer- Phineas and Ferb, so she's doing fine. Yeah, Ashley Tisdale, I do like her, but I didn't like her character in High School Musical. Like, I don't. That's why I don't want to watch that last movie because I'm like. It's all about her? I know. The, my <laughs> least favorite part of all of these movies has her own movie. Cool. Why do I need to watch this? <laughs> Hey, it's this is, maybe it would redeem her character. You never okay, know. Okay, there's there's a few Marvel movies that are worth the skip. So I think this extended universe, I can skip that one. I don't know. I feel like now that you've committed to watching all three, when you didn't want to in the first place, or maybe you did want to. I don't know, but I feel like you have to do it. I did better than some of my other friends. Some of my other friends were doing real rough throughout these movies. What do you mean? We, there was like a group of us, and then like. Yeah. Some of the older people were drinking, and they did, and they were gone. I know, I know. One of my friends was like, "I'm gonna take a drink or a sip every time I cringe in this movie," and he was under the table by the oh, end. No, of it. I tried to play a drinking game while watching an episode of a Disney Channel show because I was like, "Okay, every time this actress comes on screen, I will take a shot." So the first episode I watched, she was on screen like twice. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Ha ha, easy money." The second episode, she was on screen. I was up to about 18. Okay. And these were 18 shots that I hadn't taken yet. And I was already <laughs> feeling it. I was like, I'm giving you mean up. bad decisions? I-, I gave up because I did not want to kill myself. This is what drinking responsibly is for. <laughs> See, that's that's what I did. One because... in doubt, kids. <laughs> Give up. Yeah, you don't always have to finish your drinking game. It's not that important. Yeah, there you go. Especially when you're by yourself watching a Disney Channel show. <laughs> The, the lame, that would be the lamest way for to die of alcohol poisoning. It's like, it's like, sir, like, what, what, what was the game you were drinking? It's like, oh, every time I, I, I cringed at a Disney Channel show, I took a shot. And it's I like, was, are you crazy? I was watching Kicking It. You know, you remember that one? Yeah. Disney XD. And every time this girl named Claire came on screen, mm-hmm. I would take a shot. So first episode, she was on screen twice. And the second episode was a gymnastic what tournament, part and she is, was the main the character, character of the episode, other than the kicking it characters, obviously. That would be, it's hilarious that if, if you thought, if you thought that through any, if you had thought that, that bit through, and it was like, I, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna think this through, it's like, you should, you, that would make sense if you chose, like, a character, if you chose, like, Cabbage Dude in Avatar. Yeah. If you were, like, that guy, it's like... There, that's fine. There you go. I but only you, thought it would be cool because it was like good whiskey. It was yeah. pecan praline. It was supposed to taste good. It was awful. Um, I mean, not awful. It was just too strong. That's why I had to give up because like every time I take a swig, I was like, like I have to cringe and uh, it was just, it was a bad idea. It was, it, it seemed like a bad idea. It seemed like it was a bad idea from the get go. But it helped me sleep better that night. <clears throat> I have been clearing my throat this entire show, and I, I don't know why. I think it's that disgusting chicken we ate earlier. Mm. Don't for, let me don't, don't let me forget to take that. I'm gonna cut it up into strips and put it in a salad tomorrow. Okay, you can take it. Um, God, oh, jeez, I chicken. <laughs> I, that, that's like for some reason my go-to diet food is just like. I'm just going to grill a bunch of chicken and some vegetables, and I will eat only that. Chicken and broccoli? Yeah. It's my go-to. See, what I what I usually go to is actually tuna. I make tuna salads. Um, yeah. And if you if you take, like, a whole 
like literally just hollow out a whole avocado and put mm-hmm. it in there with like tuna, hot sauce, uh, cheese, and uh, what else did I put in there? I tried to put as much as much nutritious stuff as I could in there. Mm-hmm. I, obviously, there was lettuce because it was a salad, but I mixed all that together <laughs> and it was like really, really good. So if you want like a good healthy food, um, that's certainly one of my go tos. I want I want to do like a like a terrible cooking show. <clears throat> like, has there ever been a, a cooking show that's like two college kids and it's like today <laughs> is how we make top ramen? I'm one hundred percent sure that that's I'm I'm one hundred percent sure that multiple college kids have tried that. But I don't think anyone has like actually scripted it and made like <laughs> made like a decent show out of it. Like I just want to, I just want to do it like a really really high production version of like the random ideas I have in oh, my like, head. Imagine doing like Iron Chef, but it's like a, a college dorm, and it's like <laughs> like all the little tricks you do to like make like your disgusting like ninety nine yeah. cent noodles taste good. <laughs> It's like now I'm gonna I'm gonna this is my secret green and it's this packet of hot sauce that they they gave away at the cafeteria. Like, there you go. It's like go to Taco Bell, <clears throat> get go. the hottest hot sauce. <laughs> Ta- Taco Bell fed us through high school. Oh yeah, that was it. Was either that or uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I wish, <laughs> dude. I wish we had the metabolisms we had in high school. I still I'm have just... a pretty good metabolism, but I don't. I do. I don't use it as much. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to look at. It. Maybe I just care more about what I put in my body now, because I assume it's going. My metabolism is getting worse. But I just it might do just be in like my head. Adaptive, intuitive eating, which is basically just like if I need protein after a workout, I eat a whole shit ton of protein. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I just eat whatever is generally the best thing around our house. It's kind of hard. Which is real hard to do where <laughs> we live. Because nobody else in my house cares that because nobody else works out like I do. Mm-hmm. My mom eats healthy, but everyone else just doesn't oh, give a crap. It's impossible to eat. Like, I, I specifically bought, go to my do my own, like, grocery shopping anytime I'm, like, wanting to eat semi-healthy. Because it's, like, otherwise, if, like, if my mom cooks, it's just, like, some, it's, it's. It's her brand of cooking, which is not always the best thing for you, but it always will taste good. Yeah, you know. So I'm just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my chicken, and my vegetables, or like, I'm gonna go to my organic grocery store and be my, do my own things. Yeah, I have been destroying fruit lately. I don't know why. What's your go-to's though? Please. Clementines. You gotta, like, I'm not saying you should, but like, and apples. You should try, um. I eat like a lot of banana. I, I've been destroying some bananas. Bananas, the problem is they go bad so quickly. Yeah. So I just like. You're right, but you should try bananas and granola. Mm-hmm. Um, you can eat that like cereal. Just like put a little bit of milk, mm-hmm. and then you could. They have like different flavors of granola to score. So you guys, you could just get like honey and oat granola mm-hmm. and mix that with bananas and eat like cereal. Mm-hmm. It's actually a really really good breakfast, and it has a surprising amount of. Here's the thing: is it, value even if I, I, I've, I, this is gonna sound crazy, but I've met other people like this, and whenever I do, we have this moment of like, you do that too. I can't eat before a certain time in the day. Oh yeah, I think I think we talked about this. <clears throat> if if it's I, if you offer me food before like one p.m. or twelve at the very earliest, I will be repulsed. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but I cannot eat that early in the morning. It makes me feel gross the rest of the day. The yeah. the bet the worst I'll have or the like the most I'll have is like water or coffee, and that's it in the mornings. Yeah, even even like it, it. I don't know why, but any if I eat in the morning, I I feel gross for the rest of the day. It feels like it's almost like that. The, the best description of it would be, like, right after taking a dump. Like, that kind of gross feeling you have, like, before you've washed your hands and everything. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I was about to say. Imagine like, having good. that. <laughs> imagine having that the whole day. Oh. And I'm just like, I can't. Oh, no. Yeah. This is gross. I don't want to eat. Like, you would never take. You, know, you would never eat 
right like on the toilet yeah and that was what the feeling is that's one thing i'm weird about is like not not necessarily on the toilet but like when i'm knowing about to eat something when snowball walks out to me i like i can't help but pet him mm-hmm. i'm just like he's looking at me and he's smiling and i'm like you're so cute so I have to like pet him and then wash my hands, mm. and then he'll tempt me to pet him again. And if I'm about to like eat something, I end up washing my hands like three times before I, I eat anything. I am a religious hand washer. Like in my hands, you probably notice that anytime I come into my house, I the first thing I'll do mm-hmm. is wash my hands. And whenever we're in a place, there's hand sanitizer available. I, you always use I it. I grab it. I don't know what. Here's the other thing you'll never see me do. You'll never see me put my bare hand on a doorknob. You notice what I, I do that. every time? Either use your elbow or use a napkin. I use my jacket or like the end of my shirt. Every I time. only do that in bathrooms, mm-hmm. I, but I usually just use the. I like, paper do towel. it everywhere. I, here's the thing. <clears throat> I did this before COVID. Yeah. You can imagine how I am now. Yeah. Where I just like I get home and I'm like, it's I will bathe, <laughs> it, like. If if you could give me one of those like, you know those like omnidirectional like mist showers they have at like beaches and stuff, yeah. you could give me that with like sanitizer. Yeah, I would put that in my garage <laughs> and just like do that before I walk in. Have like a quarantine sanitizing station. Yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I would also. And you can call me a germaphobe all you want, but you know I'm alive. <laughs> That's <So>. true. <laughs> Other people aren't. Is it because they don't hand sanitize? We'll never know. <laughs> Dude. Dude, can I just say, Jake, you worked at Subway for a time, correct? Yeah. You were you were a you were a, a Subway man. Yeah. You you were a Jared, as we say. No, do not say that. <laughs> <laughs> never call me that. <laughs> what is that not what they call their employees? No, if they called all their employees that, their employees would fucking quit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I always forget that he's associated with that restaurant. That's the first thing I think about when I go to Subway. There's two is, things is I it... think about whenever I go to Subway. It's the, the that huh? and the fact that in Ireland their bread doesn't classify as bread. That is something I tell people on a regular basis. <laughs> it's so sugary it classifies as cake. Like, Which is I didn't know that. I, thought, I just thought they just wouldn't classify it as bread. Just like no, they just they classify, they classify it as, it as cake. I think. Well, that's actually awesome. Like <laughs> <laughs> now you're on board. Yeah, I I was telling people that as like a joke, as in like no, it's real. <laughs> it's cake. That's amazing. It it's hilarious. Their bread is delicious. But so you, I, you know I can't you, really give them shit. Th- back to what I was saying. It's like you were a subway man. Mm-hmm. Hat. If you were working at Subway, you had quit or got you you had left before um COVID started. Yeah. This was like high school you were working there. Yeah, it was it was while <clears throat> we were doing Yellow Boat. Um So it was it was a while ago. Yeah. Um so if you were working in Subway, how would um don't you think there's a certain level of like sanitization that you should have while like making a sandwich? Yeah. Do you think one of those things would be to, you know, cover your nose while making a sandwich? I went to Subway the other day. Yeah. I <clears throat> I had never like, been to the our local Subway, yes. Oh no. I I have never been so close to beating someone with a loaf of bread in my life. <laughs> I walk in and there's there's a there's a woman behind two women behind me with a baby. Uh-huh. One of the employees walks out and starts like conversing with the baby. I don't know. I don't have kids and I don't care about your kids. Walks out and onto the what, floor with the sandwiches or walks no, out on the just, actual she she walks floor. out on her own. She wasn't the one making my sandwich. She was like a manager or something. I don't know. Okay. okay. She was something. Uh, she walked out, was conversing with them. The woman who brought the baby, um, had her, as South Park would say, the diaper chin. So it was like the ma- mask was underneath her chin. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the other woman, I didn't even bother looking because I was just like, I don't want to have my 
basal orifices near them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went to this counter. They're like a foot behind me. Yeah. Like it's like, can you can you? We're the only people in this restaurant. Yeah. Could you back up a little bit? He's like, I would go through the drive-through, but you will not let me. It's like they don't do drive-through there for some reason. They don't. No. The screen's probably broken. It was broken uh, very recently when I went there. Okay, so that might be it. But, <clears throat> but I go up. I order my sandwich. The whole, and I was ordering a couple sandwiches. I was ordering for my family. Yeah. So it was like I was getting the sandwiches, and uh, she, uh, uh the the guy at the counter, was had his mask. Under his nose the entire time he was making my sandwich. There was a guy working there? Yeah. I don't I don't know who he 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 did not seem like a smart gentleman. No, they the the guy the only guys they have that work there, um, they usually don't last very long. Okay. He he the entire time he was irking me and I don't know why, but I'm like you the, you're at the perfect angle. The sandwiches sit yeah. on the subway conveyor belt where your nose is breathing. Yeah. It goes down. Ah, uh, you should have told him. You should have been like, dude. I, I probably <laughs> should have, but like I'm like I'm wearing one. You're not you can't like get yeah. them I I we're never getting out of this because of fucking subway guy. I, I'm and not you, Jared. Like, so, I you know what? That that guy who was the, who was the subway who was, I would argue the guy went who wore his mask <laughs> underneath his nose. Is worse is no. worse than Jared. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Jared. But fuck that guy too. <laughs> you can share a cell. Okay. To be to be fair, I don't actually know exactly what Jared did. I just know the general <laughs> gist. And I he can already say that he? I'm not sure that Jared... <laughs> he was a pedophile, better. wasn't he? That was the whole deal? Yeah, but okay. I, I don't know, like, what extent to... Like, you don't know what extent? Yeah. I would like, imagine a foot long. Could... <laughs> I was going to say something about... <laughs> I think that was the extent. I was going to say, I don't know if it was, like, the Michael Jackson business The face or... you made <laughs> was the... You looked at me with, I think, more hatred than I've ever seen in my life. I was like, yeah. I'm going to say, Jared from Subway, terrible person. Yeah. Fuck you, Jared. Mm -hmm. But the guy who made my sandwich with the dick nose, fuck you too. Listen, if it makes you feel any better, like I said, he's not going to last long. Okay, and cool. It, it's, the worst part is, it's not even because he sucks that bad. It's simply because... I don't know if I should talk shit about my my subway manager. I don't think so either, considering you named it, and I'm going to have to bleep that. Damn it. You shouldn't have said what town we live in. Because <laughs> I've been shitting on the Sam. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to have to bleep that later. Dang it, you're right. So um, I'm going to yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say his name. I'm just going to say he doesn't like in guys fact, working there. In fact, will you go there? over there and tell me what time it is so I can mark that? It's about 1.20. Okay, it's 1.20 now? Okay, but like, we were probably having that conversation, so I'm going to put down, like, 115 bleep the subway. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we get out this whole part where we talk about bleeping out the subway? What? Can we, can we, are we going to cut out the whole part where we talk about no, bleeping out the subway? You, no, Dang it. Subway bleep. I'm just going to title this note, future me. Just because everyone, everyone that we know knows where we live... <laughs> yeah, but not ever like the people that should know where that subway. I because here's what I don't want to have. To, I don't want to have someone. I don't want to Yelp bomb them. I just want to call my manager of hers. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> that was okay. We can do that. I'll bleep yeah. it. I'll bleep it later. Let's and talk shit. I don't necessarily know that he is a perv. I just know that well, subway's his track record would is. imply maybe he was a perv. You're the right. higher ups of subway. Have a real Epstein situation going on. I think that something needs to be done. And it's not even the owner of the restaurant. It's just the guy he hires. And I think it might be his family, so I don't I don't know. But the, the guy he hires what to manage all of them. do you think we live in? Because it's not Alabama. <laughs> no, but they're all... I think they're all... Never mind. I don't want to say what country they're from because I'm definitely going to get it wrong. <laughs> 
They're from uh, Subway. They're from uh, Ireland. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're from yeah. <laughs> they're from the same land that can't classify bread. They they heard that, that we use cake for bread over here, and they were like, "Fuck yeah!" And it's that's like, why yeah. they bought a Subway. Listen, if if I if I truly didn't give a shit about my weight, and it was just like, you know what, I want to die from a heart attack as quickly as possible. Yeah. I would probably use some cake as my sandwich bread. But you'd have to make it specially because I don't believe like act like just regular yellow cake or something like that would make good sandwich bread. I think that no, I'd have we're to in America. Actually... We're in America. The, we, the 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 risk of heart disease is implied. It's like it doesn't even matter what you what you use or eat in America. It's mostly always has trans fats in it or something else that's gonna kill you. So mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't even it doesn't even matter at this point. You can do whatever you want. Doesn't matter. We Nothing. can do whatever we want. Nothing really matters. Cake for bread, of course. Bacon for teeth wait subway's not even that good of a restaurant <laughs> like it, it's a terrible f- sandwich like i'm firehouse isn't local is it that's a chain right firehouse is yeah so, firehouse is a much better chain of sandwiches but firehouse doesn't have as much customization as subway and that's what i like most about subway okay I- i'll trade that for not dying of a respiratory disease when i eat your food okay <laughs> Listen, it's Hold worth the it mic to for, your face, Jake. It's worth it for the steak and cheese sandwich. The steak and cheese sandwich at Subway, I will say this a million I times, would go is to the a Philly, best. Like, cheese steak restaurant if I want to do that. I have friends from Philly, and they, they all just rant about... I'm, Todd, I'm looking at you, motherfucker. <laughs> and you too, Matt. The, the, all they do is rant about Philly cheese steaks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like... I think they're from Jersey. I don't know where they're from. I was about to say, it seems like a pretty uh, <laughs> pretty regionally specific thing to do is just rant about, about cheesesteaks. Cheese yeah, I'm from Philly, and I like cheesesteak and uh, Ben and Franklin. And Rocky Balboa. You know what? We just we just thought of two different... <laughs> what? <laughs> I said Ben Franklin, but <laughs> okay, that works. Rocky Balboa, I guess, would also... You know what? If we, if we had to start ranking the idols of Philadelphia, I'm going to put... Rocky over Ben Franklin because I didn't know Ben Franklin was there, from there. Is he or did you make that up? No, I'm eighty percent sure okay. that he lived there at one point in time. <laughs> <laughs> only eighty <clears throat> and only at one point in time, but I'm that's pretty high. Pretty, Listen, pretty high percentage of sureness. <laughs> we should only, you know what? I'm gonna solve some u.s problems right now you know all these like you know everyone was going on about statues and stuff let's just replace all the statues all like the 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 confederate statue and monument throw them in a museum or something i don't care that's what i say throw them in a museum i don't care like that's a thing but let's replace them with like that town's most recognizable movie star so detroit i think detroit has a robocop statue do they really i think so and i want to see it so badly i do too that's awesome <clears throat> Uh, you know, Rocky, um, I think there's a Fawn statue somewhere. I don't know where Happy Days took place. Dude, if, if Harry, if Henry Winkler can get a <laughs> statue, then Chadwick Boseman deserves a statue. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. He's from Anderson. He's from South Carolina. Exactly. Where we're from. I really, really want them to make a statue of him. He, like, dude, we, uh, you're joke, but. There's a high probability we no, can no. get that. I know somebody, it's somebody that goes to the college that actually started a petition uh, for him to get a statue, and I I signed it because I legitimately he, believe he should get one. Did he go to that school, or did he, he go? He didn't go to Anderson. He okay. went to T.O. Hanna, though, which okay. is the high school that you drive yeah. by if you're going to Anderson. Okay, so that dude totally deserves a statue there. Exactly, and we, <clears throat> there's literally a statue. Um, that one was of our classrooms so is in front of the town hall. sad and sudden when that happened. Was. I, it was like and it, no it one all knew. Made sense automatically though. It, yeah, it it we were like okay because he'd been denying it for like months. He'd been like, oh yeah, I'm not Is sick. I'm, do you remember that where he was getting really skinny and everyone was like, What's oh wrong with yeah, Chad people Boseman? were like shitting on him about getting real skinny for a bit, but then it was like it made sense immediately. But there was also exactly he. There's he also that video it. of him crying oh. about going to see uh, a child with with I think the same type of can- colon cancer, wasn't it, or something. I it was some I kind of cancer. I don't know for sure. I, I know it was cancer. I just don't know where. It was. Yeah, I, uh, let's not make any like assumptions here. But yeah, uh, there was that video of him crying when talking about it, and like watching it now, 
you think you knew what why it was then is because like yeah that's a real sad situation to be to be the make-a-wish dude you yeah. know to be that guy that you get called to go see these kids like that's got to be rough yeah but then you add that that child's fate is very soon going to become your own oh my and that's another yeah. level of just like that makes so watching that interview now yeah it's clarity like you get like a sense of like oh dude it yeah now it all makes sense yeah it all makes sense now it's like i don't even and of course i care that he was black panther and that yeah. he played jackie robinson and that he was a big movie star but i, I really care that. because he was such a good dude yeah like if you just read stuff about what he did while he was alive <laughs> and the way he interacted with people around him like that it's it's really, really sad. I I can't believe that we, that we, I specifically did not really appreciate him while he was alive. I always do that. I always go back yeah. and look at people, and I'm like, damn. I feel bad I for ragging been a bigger on this fan. movie. <laughs> like to be like, I know that's wait, Black Panther. I ragged on Black Panther a little bit. Me when and you watched out. the premiere together, and we both yeah, ragged we on both it. W- yeah, we both we saw it because when, it was good when it came it out. Had, it was good, yeah. but it, it had problems and like. Yeah, everyone especially ragged on the CG in that movie, but it was like it was it wasn't an issue of like it was clearly an issue that there just wasn't enough time. And like I don't want to like change my opinion about a movie just because some it, there was a tragedy connected to it. You yeah, know? no. But I, like I don't know if that's hypocritical or if it's I don't know. Yeah, but it it was certainly not a bad movie. It was just wasn't fantastic. I know, you know, but me and you but always everything criticize else, when we watch movies. Like it's not, it wasn't just that movie. It yeah. wasn't, you know. <clears throat> me, but I won't, I won't deny me that and I you did. on tons yeah. of movies. But we, yeah, we we definitely criticized it. I wouldn't deny that. I'm just, and I wouldn't change what I said about it. But I really do wish that I had cared more about and, his, like especially the historical pictures that he was in. Culturally, that movie did like it, it's a huge kind of milestone, and like yeah, I think I don't know if it's a situation of like. <sighs> this is going to come off really insensitive and wrong but like it's an example of you died the hero yeah you know whereas like do i think he would ever become live to be the villain no he was a good dude yeah but do but (sighs) the legacy is huge yeah it's this weird moment of like he the same way when lee died stan lee died yeah it was like the legacy will be will be still live yeah. you know the longer that you're famous the longer people have to find dirt on you mm-hmm. and to uncover it True, and just drag yeah. your name through the mud oh yeah and i don't think chadwick boseman actually had a lot of that. i don't think he had any he was he was now, very very like let's uh let's clean, really knock on wood and hope that this never comes back i don't I'm think i'm actually going to literally die. <laughs> yeah i would oh my gosh it's like I, that would be awful if like we're saying all these nice things and then something terrible just comes out. But then again, you know it's what? It's like um, <laughs> I don't want to name names because everything is still up in the air about what was true and what wasn't. I will say I I would definitely side with victims and stuff. But there was a certain celebrity figure, probably not even one you're thinking about, because I'm thinking of something very specific. Oh, there was a very there was a certain celebrity figure who lately was um had some allegations, some real messed up stuff. I mean, if you're not talking about, uh, let's not. I don't even want to name anything. I'm talking about one that it's it's almost very clearly fake. Like no, the one that's not very this one. very recent. No, no, not this was a little bit ago. But I listened to some podcast that um that um had of people that were friends with this person and then uh listening to it now it's real hindsight is it, you know how i was talking about how the term hindsight is 2020 should be completely reversed after the term the year 2020 it's where <laughs> yeah. it's like hindsight is now everything is terrible you know, it's like listening to him now. I'm like, wow, this age aged like milk, essentially. Yeah. You know, no, I, I was, I was talking about the <clears throat> cannibal allegations of one of. Of what? I movie. have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't okay. want to know. Okay. <laughs> Those I don't necessarily know for a fact they're fake, but they just seem really fake. You, you, 
you can't just call a guy a, a cannibal. No, okay? You, okay. Especially when it's only, like, screenshots that could very easily be fake. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say whatever that is. No, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't want to know what this is. I would like to continue to live my <laughs> life without knowing what the fuck you're talking about. He dropped out of a movie, though, because of it, so it's kind of sad. Okay, cool. That's not what I was talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I, I, I have ideas, but I'm... I'm not gonna name names either because I really don't want to be caught in the middle of yeah. anything. Um, if anyone hears I this, say I don't want them if, to jump on me for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it, it it's it's bizarre. It's it's it's, it, it's all weird. It's, it's all, just I really don't know how we got honestly. here. I, we were talking about Cheswick Bozeman. We ended up here. We just we started talking about like he lived. He, di- he died okay, the we're, hero. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. I was like, what eight we, points? To su- we started at Superman, I think, or like we started at me being sad because I couldn't fix the audio and now we're here. Listen, we always do this. We just bounce off of every single like. <laughs> this is this is what attention deficit disorder looks like, people. We should we should really have this audio studied for. Uh... <laughs> They're for gonna, medical purposes. When when we inevitably uh, Terminator won us off the planet. Yeah. Speaking of Terminator, uh, I'm going to finish that statement. When we Terminator won ourselves off the planet, this audio should be studied. It's like, <laughs> these were the dumbest of human beings. <laughs> this like, is, um, yeah, this is have... the bottom line. Here's the writings of Stephen Hawking. And here is a recording of two guys just talking about <laughs> random shit for an hour and a half. <laughs> you can see... How the guy with the robotic voice, who was much more like us robots, was clearly more advanced. I'm glad how that. I'm I don't know if that so was well. an offensive statement or not. <laughs> Listen, he. Speaking of Terminator, <laughs> if if Epic Rabbit on History can make fun of his voice, then so can we. Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how. It no, works. it's not how it works. But I'm gonna say how it works <laughs> because if I need to. Speaking excuse. of Terminator, did you see that video of the of the Boston Dynamic robots doing a dance? That looked like CGI, and it was very. I was scary like, "Is this court or digital shit?" And I was like, "Nope, it it happened," and I was like, "Oh no, 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 no!" I, I don't like, like how fluid they were. You know, I a, a new show I was watching described it perfectly. It was like it was like the stuck in the middle with you scene from Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, where he's like dancing around to this very upbeat song, and then cuts the dude's ear off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was like that level of terrifying. It's just these robots like doing this little dance, just going about, and but it's so clearly terrifying because yeah. it's like, oh, you're you're a machine. You you shouldn't you shouldn't have these abilities. And it was like it, one of the scariest parts to me wasn't just the fact that they could dance so fluidly. It was that every single robot that came in, every every different kind of like machine that came in could move just as well as the last one. Oh my god! The little dog bots, the little like it was just. Now here's the thing: they've also released things that are like to, for some solace, I guess. They've definitely also released um videos where it's like the blooper reels where those robots fall over about nine thousand times. I'm like, all right, fair enough. It's like. Knowing that they messed up is a tiny bit comforting, but knowing that they can do they it, they can all do it is, eventually. Is really the part that got like, me. Here's the thing: if if I do it, if I do a task and I fail one out of every, or if I succeed one out of every thousand times, in theory, this next time I do it a thousand times, I might succeed twice. You know, and then that number just keeps going up. Yeah, and goes and up, and then you know they're launching nukes and shit, and then. Terminator happens, and then <laughs> next thing you know, someone's going back in time, and th- there's a bunch of stuff with his mom. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in a bit, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is spinning a gun. One comforted thing about robots to me that I was thinking about is I that- I think I'm losing my mind. Listen, one day, your mind will be able to be put into a computer, completely mapped in a computer, mm-hmm. but that's the thing, is that robots and machines can't think and do things on their own unless they're programmed to think and do things on their own. So I feel it's like, like this is a conversation we should have after watching WandaVision. No, I think I think it's good to think about this before. <laughs> before because, we watch the show? Because I, I still have no idea what it's about. And I <clears throat> Neither do I. I really... But that, that Tom King I'm vision run I was telling you yeah. about earlier, that's entirely what you're describing. Where it's like how a machine thinks is yeah. that entire thing. 
there's like a conversation he has. I was looking at it the other night. Um, there's a conversation he has with his wife where he's like, uh, the the neighbors bring over some cookies, and then they throw the cookies out because they're robots and they don't have to eat. <laughs> and like the wife is like, they seemed kind, and it was vision is like, no, it's they seem nice. But and then the wife is like detailing description is like. No, because in the in the human language, nice means this and kind means this. Yeah. And it was like, Vision's just like, no, that's not how people talk. And I'm like, this is uncomfortable. This is a co- uncomfortable. To and then like, Viv and Vin are just sitting there like, why are mommy and daddy fighting? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they don't think that. The best like, part about mommy that and book, daddy are fighting because they're The best part about that book are... <laughs> is the fact that the kids just fly to school. I'm like, Wait a second. why wouldn't they? They go to human school? Yeah, they go to human school. Why? They... Because that's what normal kids would do. They can walk through fucking walls. They're not normal kids. They, they, that's what they do. They're, they're robot. They're robot people. They're, that's what humans would do, so they should do that, too. You can't... Humans wouldn't walk through. Okay, I guess if humans could walk through walls, they they absolutely. If I had superpower, this the book touches on this too. Yeah. Because if you were a kid with superpowers, you would immediately show all your friends. Yeah. And that's, that's what Vivian did do. Exactly. All right. Well, then exactly. they got that right. I would. I would read this if I. <laughs> if you could find the trade. Yeah, that I'm and sure if I had any knowledge of like that comic run. Uh, it's self-contained fairly. Oh, okay. Like, it's very self-contained, but also does some deep cuts into Marvel lore for the people who care. Like, have you ever read Night of the Monster Men? No. It's a, it's a Batman run. I is got that, that one, one with the weird mask and shit? Or is that the one with, like, the sewer beast things? That That's the one where these giant... I can't even remember... Because I read it, and then I was like, <clears> what? Because I didn't know the... There was a lot of new characters in that. Mm-hmm. Luke Fox was in that. Um, he, I think this was also a Tom King book. I might be wrong about that. I no, that that does sound right actually. Okay. For for some reason, I'm thinking you're right. But he wrote a lot of Batman. Reading that and not knowing the the recent Batman lore that was around mm-hmm. that, it was really confusing. That's why I don't remember the plot. It's just because I there was a lot of deep cuts into the the comic run they were doing yeah, at that point in time. There probably was. So, so Tom the King same thing can write a 12-issue series. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Don't give him 100 issues of Batman. No. All right? Like, he can write, He can write, and he's a good writer. Yeah. But I think he does best when he's writing, like, I have no room to talk about how, how he should write. He's, he's, he's very successful, and it's fine. Yeah. But uh, I think his best work is when he has a clear set number. Yeah. You know? Because... <clears throat> it's it's really much easier to write. That's comic book writers don't get as much respect because they don't have to end their stories. They don't have to tie everything up in a little bow. They can just keep. No, comics can be messy, and people will just accept it. Yeah, you know. But short runs like that, or you will be novels, retconned. do have to finish up. They can't yeah. just leave things hanging. Oh, especially because like, it, two of his most prominent best books were Vision and Mister Miracle. Two characters where it was like before Age of Ultron, most people still don't know who Mister Miracle is. For some reason, I'm thinking that's a DC character. It is. Oh, okay, yeah. Because he 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 was writing was at Marvel Big and Barda's... Big Barda's love. Yeah, love, yeah. Because they were both like in a puck. It's a thing. His mother. I don't. It's a lot. Um, dang it! I can't remember the Apocalypse characters. Son of a. <sighs> Apocalypse. I'm gonna get this wrong, but Apocalypse and whatever the current odin type character was i can't remember <clears throat> it basically traded sons to be like keep the peace yeah and then apocalypse did it the betrayed it anyway but like it, it's a thing yeah. it's a thing it's a thing i haven't read in a bit wait are you talking about apocalypse the x-men character or apocalypse the planet not apocalypse dark side apocalypse the planet dark side the character yeah i was okay cuz i was thinking I was thinking Apocalypse as in, like, the X-Men villain. I was like, maybe no, you're talking about that apocalypse. Kind of person. But, okay. I and you. even Vision is like... That is very confusing. I understand why you yeah. did that. Because that's it's really weird that they have two big well, villains. Because also, Apocalypse, the X-Men villain, looks a lot like Darkseid. You know? He really does. 
That's another reason why it's confusing <clears throat> because they try to rip each, each other off so much, and sometimes they get so close that it's like you know what you I guys f- are just fucking stupid. You know what point. I realized the other day? What? There was a Morbius movie that was supposed to be out. Oh. It was supposed to come out December last year. Oh. With, I heard of that, but I with, didn't. Um, oh, what's his name? Didn't uh, they push it back? Yeah, I guess they did. I, I think it still ha- It was filmed, I think. I don't know. It was a Sony movie, though. Yeah. So it was like it was like the Venom character, like, verse or whatever. It could still be in production. I, I don't know. It was with... um. Joker dude, I'm running a cult in an Joaquin. island now. Oh. Not Joaquin Phoenix. Not Phoenix. The other one. The the one people hate. Oh. Suicide oh. Squad. Jared Leto. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't think of his I'm name. on an island. I'm running a cult now. That's his thing right okay, now, really? isn't it? Yeah, I think he's got like an island and a cult and stuff. There's uh, That might not be true. But uh, like, I don't know. I think, honestly. I'm just going to Google Jared Leto cult and see what comes up. Jared... Jer- mm. I mean, that sounds like something Jared Leto would do, knowing what he did to his castmates on Suicide Squad, but I don't know a lot about the guy. That's their Kool-Aid, is mailing anal beads to people. (laughs) Very dead pigs and... (laughs) The severed head of your mother-in-law. Yeah, things like that. I think he's like, cult. Is Google and cult gonna... Let's just find out. Listen, I've Googled a lot worse. Jared Leto cult. Yeah, the cult of Jared Leto. I, 30 seconds to Mars. What the? This is... 30 seconds to Mars? That's a band. Isn't it? Isn't he the guy from 30 seconds? One of the, the same, is it? Dude, you're blowing my mind right now because you're, you're throwing a lot of Jared Leto facts. <laughs> I know nothing about the guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's... <laughs> that's his thing, isn't it? Or members. Yeah, guitarist from 30 seconds to Mars. What? Okay, you the... just you just I just gave blew me... your mind twice. First he's in a cult and wait, I guess first, first he was in thirty second of Mars, but you know And now he's running a cult. But I found them out in the opposite order, so Don so I'm thinking first he was in a cult. <laughs> that would be great if that's how your brain worked. It was like you you think history happened in the order that you learned about it. So you learned <laughs> It was like, yeah, so World War Two happened and then World War One And then Cleopatra became Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, God, I I really and it's, speaking of history, I really get on my brother for not knowing who Hitler was or what <laughs> or what nine eleven was. But and now I feel Your bad. Brother's young. He's ten. I felt I felt like he should know what that is. But now I feel bad because Were he you was like, "Yeah, when Hitler facts at ten? No, but he plays Black Ops Zombies, and Black Ops <laughs> Zombies is about Nazi zombies. I so guess I thought he right. would know who the leader of the Why Nazis is your was. Ten-year-old brother playing Nazi zombies in the first place is my. He's question. been playing it since he was like five. Okay, you know <laughs> what? Who cares? He grew up on Nazi zombies. He hates <laughs> Nazis now. You know what? If I'd that's, say it's if good that's what if that's what the game does, the kids, that's what it should do. Is it, it learn to hate Nazis? Thank you, Black Ops, for educating our youth. Sounds like a Black Mirror episode <laughs> using video games to indoctrinate kids into your belief system. But I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Let's answer a phone call, shall we? Anna, you're on a podcast. Don't say anything racist. Okay, well, I was looking for you to be on the podcast, so I said... Okay, well, me and Jake are going to wrap, wrap up here in a minute. So you guys are already done with it? No, we're, no, we're in the middle of it, but like... <laughs> You're oh, on it right now. Say hi. 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 We we had a whole discussion about you forcing me to watch the High School Musical movies and me not <laughs> hating it. <laughs> you should also make your friend watch it. The, I've already seen all. Of them. He's already seen all of them. He we he, we had a discussion oh, about and and uh, rank them real quick between the first three. Uh, I said two, three, one. Okay, thank you. That's, right. that's the good opinions right there. All right, t- tell Matt we're we'll, we're gonna we're gonna do Wandavision here in a bit. We'll wrap up in here in a minute. Okay. See you. My. <laughs> God dang. <it. laughs> that's my new thing. I'm gonna say anytime I I get someone on a phone call there on a podcast. It's just like you're on a podcast. Don't say anything racist. 
See, that's, <laughs> to me, that, may, that makes me feel like they were going to say something racist. And no, you she wasn't. Them. She absolutely was not. I, I know she wasn't. It's just like, that's the first thing I think of when someone says that is like, why did you have to say that? <laughs> did you know something? She was absolutely. No, I, I believe she's a good person, <laughs> but. I also think it's funnier to think that she was she's going gonna to say something you her. overtly racist. She was going to be like, so, hey, what about those insert race here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say a specific race because I don't want to draw attention to wanna, anything. You don't want to get that clipped. Because, oh. you know, you never know what could be relevant. So I don't want to, you know. We don't know what's going to be relevant. She is super cool. I met uh, a buddy of ours from high school when COVID all Right before COVID started and I got a new PC, yeah. he sent me an invite to the a Discord. And I, literally, they helped me keep sanity through quarant- the main quarantine, like through through the year 2020. And yeah. to this day, because like I'm still not going to go out. I'm going to wait I, for chicken I, for like a half an hour, but Yeah, that's because about our it. order took forever. Like I, I would have much rather just like not, but I'm still, I'm not going to. I've, it's still rough out there for a, it's gonna be for a bit, but we're well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel finally, so that's where we are, and that's what we're doing. I just want to know why people think it's a good idea to go out and have huge parties and festivals. See the fucking and stuff like nah, that right ba, ba, ba. Now. It was like Alabama State, whatever the fuck those those cousin fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> whatever see nobody cares about alabama so <laughs> no you can one say cares that. The, there's come at me alabama i don't care the entire state of alabama <laughs> is gonna be on your ass oh shit you're gonna hang me with your confederate flags motherfuckers i was just i was gonna, I'm gonna get lynched about how i'm gonna get gonna lynched on your now. ass after they're on their cousins i'm gonna get attacked you're gonna get freaking like i don't even know you're gonna get rolled in the tide you know what, uh, Alabama, you, you've got spirit for your your with your football teams. You've got spirit. That's about all. I, I don't know anything else about you. As a Clemson fan, but I don't like Alabama. Speaking of football, you saw that group of like Alabama State or whatever your colleges are called. Uh, you saw them. Uh, they they there was like a crowd of like hundreds of people celebrating, like in the street, just in the streets. Yeah, about. They were doing that at USC. Oh, my god! Like, University of South Carolina, USC. Out in the street, throwing beer everywhere, screaming, no masks. We may be from South Carolina, but we are the least South Carolina people you'll ever meet. <laughs> I really, sometimes I wish that I did have a thick South Carolina accent. And sometimes I'm like, I'm so glad I don't have an accent because I could just be where, from wherever I want. Like, I th- yeah. Makes me a better actor, I think. You know, you, uh, Maybe. I think that's sound about like a pretentious it. prick and say that. <laughs> okay. But don't don't go to Alabama roll tide parties. I, what's that mean? Alabama. Whose whose mascot is a fucking wave? Okay, tigers are so much cooler than waves. There's only I, I this was another podcast I was listening to. They were do, talking about one of the guys was from South Carolina. It was like, listen, there are two sports teams in South Carolina. It's the the the. The Tigers and the Cox. <laughs> okay. Which one do you think sounds better? <laughs> Which one? Do you, yeah. And it was like, and then you go, you go to Walmart and you see like a group of girls with like jorts that just say Cox on the back of it. I'm like, <laughs> we, you should really rename. <laughs> actually, never mind. Here's the that thing. That actually makes it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. Oh my gosh. That is a skit we need to do. <laughs> it's someone just, who's never been to South Carolina. No one to outside Walmart. of the state of South Carolina. There's so many local like bits you can do about just like a that or like Myrtle Beach as a whole. It just being for anyone who's never been to Myrtle Beach, m- imagine Florida but smaller and it's dirtier probably. In, in pretty, and imagine if Florida got wiped off the face of the earth by a hurricane every three years. Instead of, well, I guess Florida, that happens in Florida, but like, imagine if it was, (laughs) imagine if it was completely underwater every three years. It, um, you silly goose. It, it, it's the Florida of South Carolina and it, 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 it's awful. I despise it. That's one of the few places that I vacation and I still will talk trash about it. Bring up the mic. 
<laughs> you're you're getting so low in your chair. If you're gonna do it, at least bring the mic closer to your face. Is this good? You're good. Okay. <laughs> we need to wrap up anyway. We need to go watch WandaVision and stuff. I'm getting too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? You, okay. Yeah. Uh, continue conversation. To start the next conversation. No, I was just I was saying I'm getting too comfortable to keep to continue doing the podcast. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep leaning further and further until it's just <laughs> you're like, gonna keep that chair's comfortable, isn't it? I know it's so easy to just like get like sink into it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's that's why it's getting harder. I gotta. All right, I think I think we're gonna we're, I think we're gonna wrap up. Okay. All right. So, anyways, do you have any uh, closing words? Uh, yeah. What 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 have we talked about today? Let's let's that that should be. What have we talked about today? We talked somehow got the Superman. Well, we talked about live action Lex Luthers, and I didn't get to say that Michael Rosenbaum is my favorite. And that's the full wrap up. That's all. We, that's a that's the complete story arc. Yeah, the circle that, of podcasts. The circle of Lex Luthor. Oh, all right. Okay, well, all right. Yeah. We're at, you say your thing, I say my thing, whatever. <laughs>